Whoa, that was quick. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, this is Brad with the Magic Brad Show, and we've got some time lapse situations happening here. But I've got my friend uh, Bo Young on, and we've got a special guest that came in. He's just going to be able to come in for a little while, and then he's got other appointments to do because that's what happens when you're doing this live stream thing. There's a lot of zooming going on right now, but basically, what we're going to be talking about is customer appreciation. Because customer appreciation is kind of all you got right now. It's all about relationships. So let me grab my friend Bo, and we'll see how he if he's here. He is there. He is Bo. How you doing? Fantastic, Magic Brad. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. This is fun. We our, our surprise guests came in earlier than we expected, so that's that's a good thing. We're getting a quantum leap, and I understand he's got another appointment, so that means people are busy. That's good. That's right. That's right. I look forward to hearing from you. Even if we get a few minutes with Jim, it's gold. You know what I mean? Exactly, because what we are talking about today is customer appreciation from a realtor's point of view, which is an interesting thing because we had talked about before, realtors are everywhere. And the only thing that separates uh, them from other people is basically their personality. Right. You know, the relationship right. thing. So let's uh, go ahead and bring Jim on. You want to give a little pre-introduction to who Jim is and what it's all about? Sure. I'll tell you. Uh, Jim McCord, I have known of him for several years, but knew, met him, if you will, on about a year and a half ago, a little more than that, actually, almost two years ago. Jim introduced me to the system that I currently use um, that enables me to show better appreciation to my customers, my clients, my friends, uh, referral sources. Jim introduced me to the system. And uh, so that's, he, he's, uh, been in real estate for over two decades and he's coached realtors around the country. He's uh, He understands how to wow people, how to find new clients, how to retain clients. He's he's the guru of appreciation, if you ask okay. me. So, Well, let's bring him on here and I got a few questions because it's interesting to me. So who, here he is. <laughs> how you guys Mr. doing? Jim, how you doing? <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Hey, Jim. How you doing, Bo? I'm doing. fantastic. It's good to see you. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you, Magic Brad. So you're on the other. You're over in the East Coast, right, Jim? Yeah, I am in uh, Northern Kentucky, right near Cincinnati, right across the river oh, from Cincinnati. I got Cincinnati. a speeding ticket over there. I went through Kentucky, got a speeding ticket. I remember Kentucky. Yeah. Slow <laughs> yeah. down. Yeah, I've got a speeding ticket for thirty years. Thirty years since I had a speeding ticket. I decided in my thirties to start driving like an old man and. Uh, I did, and I love it. So <laughs> I can't. I got a lead foot. I just like I like to move. So, so Jim, you're in the real estate world, and like um, Bo and I have been talking about this, about this system that you got that sends out this, uh, like, uh, showing you care before. Because what was that saying? People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That kind of thing. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll just jump in. And since uh, I apologize for being short on time, but I'll, I'll give you an idea what I send. I've been a full time licensed realtor for 27 years. And this product through Banner Season, which uh, Brad can hook you up with, uh, you do need an invitation code. But I, when I say it's the best product I used in 27 years, there's, and, and I'm with Keller Williams now, the number one real estate company in the country. Before that, I was with Remax and Coldwell Banker. This is by far and away better than anything any of those companies have or any other real estate marketing companies have. And I'll share with you why. You can use it to pick up new customers. You can use it to meet people. You can use it to thank your existing clients, like at a closing. And you can use it um, to list properties. I don't know what happened. We just somehow lost my video. I can still hear you, though, so keep on going. Oh, I know, but we want the video on here. Let me see what happened. Because <laughs> I just was about to start showing you some uh, products. There we go. Good. All right, now I'll give you an example. I have a closing tomorrow. And I don't sell much anymore. This is only my third closing this year. But these clients are really good clients, and they buy a property or two and flip it every year with me. And tomorrow they're buying 24 acres. So they're getting this card from me. And that's an aerial photo that I didn't take that was taken by the listing agent of their property. And I put, uh, thanks, Mike and Sarah, like right on the lake. That's their property that they're buying. And on the back of the card is my information. And that, I will bring that to closing in a box. And this box right here, 
This is the lid of the box, and that's a different aerial shot of their property. You know, the whole front of the box is an aerial shot of the property that they're buying, and then I put a thank you sticker on top of the box. And again, I didn't print any of these. I designed these and hit send. So right. in this box, in this box, they're getting this card with photo of their house and my information on the back and a short thank you note. They're getting two coffee mugs. Oh wow! With an aerial photo of of the property they're buying. Awesome. Two, two different coffee mugs, and they are getting eight brownies. Again, with a photo of their property and a thank you, little thank you tag on top. So that's pretty now, powerful because that photo is familiar to them. It's the property that they're paying a half a million dollars for tomorrow at the closing, and I'll slide that box across afterwards, and it has the photos of that property. I mean, it's truly phenomenal. And these mugs they'll keep forever. That box they'll keep forever. So, uh, and, and I'm also I'm doing the same thing for the listing agent because she is like the number two listing agent in the area. So after I give my clients the present, I'm going to give this box to the listing agent. And this is, these are screenshot snippets from her webpage. That's her webpage. And she is getting a thank you card from me that I have here somewhere. Let's see, I think this is it. Yep, this is it. That's her photo and a snippet from her website. And it says, uh, you're always a pleasure to do business with. Thanks, Cindy. And then my information on the back. Perfect. And this box, which is all about her website, which you know she's not going to throw that away. And this coffee mug, she works for realty executives. So I put their logo and her photo on there. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a huge mug. <laughs> yeah, and, and she's also getting uh, she's getting eight brownies with her photo and stuff uh, from her website on the bottom of that. Now, you know, I'm telling you, there's just nothing else you can do to per to impress either a prospect or a current client or a past client like like you can do with Banner Season. The reason it's so powerful is all the other real estate agents, like I was before I started using Banner Season, are sending out information about how great I am, how great my broker is, whatever right. broker I work for. And for thank you gifts, we were all given either like fruit baskets or bottles of wine or champagne baskets or, you know, uh, uh, baskets with champagne and cookies, whatever, door knockers. But when you give stuff like this, they keep it. That's what I mean. It's personalized rather than a commodity because everybody's sending the same stuff, you know? Yeah. Very simple. Very. And the important thing here is, yeah, you will be, we're, we won't go over prices again. I apologize for being short on time, but you won't believe how inexpensive these things are. Like that card, like a four by six postcard. If you join as a gold member, you can send. Now people won't believe this unlimited free postcards. You pay postage only unlimited free. You pay 37 cents postage. This uh, five and a half by eight postcard, this is 19 cents as a gold member. 19 cents. I think it's 46 cents if you're a retail member. 19 cents plus postage to send this card. Uh, it's truly phenomenal. I mean, it's really, really phenomenal because you make it about, about your prospect and your client, not about yourself. So the, the postcards there, there's no limit? No There's no limit to the four by six postcards wow. if you're a gold member. That's correct. It's on. It's it's Got some juice turning turning in my head. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. You know, usually when 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 you come upon a product or a service that seems too good to be true, it almost always is too good to be true. But this one is not. And all, all I can tell you is, all of us, including Bo, uh, and Bo can share some stories. I got to get off. I got to jump on this other call. But everybody who uses this says the same thing. It's truly the best marketing product we've ever used. Well, I think a lot of this stuff we've got, everybody just gets all this digital stuff, digital, digital, and you lose emails and you get, you're on a platform, Facebook, then all of a sudden you bop over to LinkedIn, you get lost. Whereas a physical thing, they can put it on their refrigerator. They got that coffee mug every morning and it's physical. And That's exactly it. Right. And I, I listen, uh, Magic Brad, it was a pleasure meeting you, Bo. It's always good seeing you. Thank I hate to jump off, but I will.
please try and have me back again. I'll do a full hour, 25 minutes, whatever you like. We'll okay, you thank back, you, Jim. sir. Sure. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Jim. Bye. Well, that was fun. So that's interesting. The, the, the what I was just thinking the only thing that uh, that does disappear is the brownies. You know. Yeah. Yeah, they do disappear in a hurry. With uh, after about fifteen seconds in the microwave and a glass of milk, it's over. <laughs> you can um, save the wrapper if you want. You no, know, the wrapper it. goes away in a hurry. But when you leave the other pieces, like the coffee mug, that's going to stick around for a long time, right? So yeah, Jim Jim has this figured out. I know when I started using the system out of nowhere, I got this big box from him with a coffee mug with my company's logo, um, a, a photo of my family. Uh, he sent some brownies too. He's just really good at showing appreciation to people. I'm going to put this little banner thing up here. There you go. Covering your chin if you want to sit up a little bit. Or something. <laughs> Sorry about that. I cover up your face with my domain. <laughs> <laughs> it's better anyways. I've got a face for radio. So but this, this, uh, this season's yeah. forgiving thing goes to the banner season thing if people want to check it out. And uh, you can kind of check it out for free at first, right? Yeah, yeah, you can certainly stomp around the website and check it out. You can become a retail customer, and, and there's no no monthly fee to that. Um, he was describing some of the features you get if you're on a discount plan. He mentioned gold, and that's a, that gives you a better deal on all, everything you send. And so, well, like you said, the concept of the I've always, I've always been a big advocate of postcards because they're, yeah. they're like little billboards, and and they stick around for a little while if you got a little bit of design to them. I remember back when I was doing the magic full time, there was this thing. It was it was called the horse and rider puzzle. Okay. And I would be able to do this and recreate this and put it on a Banner Seasons card. But it was a little card and it was cut into three parts and you chopped it in, three, in thirds. And the idea was to make these horses so that you could put the riders on them. <laughs> and people didn't know how to do it because it's pretty puzzling. And I had the little solution with my phone number. And I get calls sometimes oh, at like clever. two o'clock in the morning because people would be at the bar. You know, they put the little puzzle in their wallet and they take yeah. it to the bar and See if you can do this puzzle. I would That's a big yes. And then the solution or the, the hint was calling you, huh? That is brilliant marketing magic, Brad. Yeah, I don't want the alcoholics from the bar doing it though. Right, right. That's a problem. But uh, I would get I would get clients too, because my, my mailing was primarily to corporate and stuff like that. Right. But yeah, to his point stuff. though, he, you know, he mentions you can send you can do unlimited. Um, you just literally pay postage and it's first class postage and they can be personalized. So it's kind of an amazing concept. Uh to be able to do that and especially with an integrated list builder if you need that or have that well i wanted to talk with you a little bit because uh, your other business your primary business with your insurance you're you're doing homeowners insurance yeah we do home auto uh commercial farm life um and and you know with that i use a system i, I give an example today um, i sent out a couple um packages to customers one of them did not have a pleasant claims experience. It was out of our control. It had to do with the towing company. They did not do a good job. They were late. And it's just, it made us look bad, even though it's not, it wasn't us. So no. what did I do? I just went on the system and it was sorry for the inconvenience, took ownership of it, dropped a couple of brownies in and said, thanks. Thank you for your business and your continued trust. Um, we have another client stopped in yesterday and is, he's got to have a surgery. Uh, I jumped on the system and I and I sent them a get well soon and then you know we're we're thinking of you and it's just it's so easy to do. Uh, prior to me having the system, I just wouldn't have acted on that prompting. I wouldn't have. But now I've got a customer who's going to be just blown away in about four or five days when they open this package. There's a lot of that stuff that can be um, duplicated or replicated. So because you might have another client that ends up getting sick and you want to send a get well, or you might have other make make good type campaigns and stuff like that. Yeah. But anytime you're paying attention, right, for any customer, it doesn't matter what industry, but if you're paying attention to your clients, your customers, uh, it, it goes so far uh, when you can react to that and respond to that. And the message isn't just generic. Like there's some, you know, there's some personality in there. That's a big deal. Um, uh, I've, I've got a, a several, about, a, about 100, 120 cards that went out last week. Actually, no, they were printed on Monday. That went out to some local businesses uh, and we're celebrating them. You know, just to say thanks for being a part of our community. And they appreciate that. We took some time to make sure that that happened. Well, that's where you can use this not only as customer retention, but also customer lead generation kind of thing. And yeah. That's yeah. why I brought up the homeowner thing because, you know, I'm doing this. I'm on this new venture to help out home improvement contractors and things because I was just giving more thought to that concept because all these events and expos and the fairs and stuff that they used to exhibit at, 
They can't do it now. So what's going to happen? They're busy now, all these contractors. But what's going to happen is what's going to happen in the spring and the in summer next year? Right. There's going to be a little bubble in the pipeline. So they're going to need some help. And I thought if we can mail out for them to homeowners, and if you're uh, also looking for homeowners, maybe we could JV on something like that. Yeah. We can yeah, talk you never about know. that. Uh, we'll that's talk a, about the secret stuff offline, though, Bo. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. It's still being recorded. We don't have to tell them about secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no secrets. Yeah, it's too bad, unfortunately, that you know Jim had a, another appointment to go to. We'll get him back on again where he can maybe show uh, what he does or how he does it, maybe screen share and just kind of the system. I don't know. Um, but I, he's got countless examples of product that he's sent out, right, and and things like that. So uh, he's just – he's really giving. He, he loves to share the system because he knows it works. And uh, he's – you know, he's got an abundance mentality, right? Not scared. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say the abundance mentality, kind of like uh, Travis Sims. You know, he's right? in other networking places because this is a big world. Right. So if uh, if Jim's got some methods that he uses for real estate, and where he is on the East Coast, it's not gonna or out east, it's not gonna affect us here or over there in California or whatever. Right. It's a big world. He's not worried about you know having competition pick up on this. He wants to share it because it works. You can tell people about how good it is and only so many are going to listen anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, but the ones that have listened that he has introduced the system to just absolutely swear by it. And, uh, you know, he's, he was, he's really big. Uh, if you're in a community that has a lot of for sale by owners that just aren't getting sold, he has a process to fix that and, the, and, and for that realtor to get a chance to land them or expired listings that just didn't get sold. He's, he's got a system that allows you to get a chance to relist that uh, property. And I'm, yeah. not, and I'm not in that market, so I don't completely understand, you know, all that he does. That's why we wanted to have him as a guest for specific for realtor, you know? Yeah. And if you know other people that are in specific industries, because that would be nice to hear what he's doing in the real estate world is going to reflect for other people that want to get their real estate business going. So right. we'll definitely have him back on again. I would really like that because different people have different ideas and things and you can, it's not about plagiarism and just taking their idea, but right. you'd be able to utilize it for your customers. And cause it's a different world in California than it is in Kentucky. Yeah. And you know what? And I forgot to mention in my intro to him, he, uh, he is a best selling author. I believe the book, a book that he wrote was a, a real estate re revolution in real estate, um, which you can find out there. And matter of fact, we offered in the system, uh, but it describes tactics or techniques about how uh, to be really successful in that business. And so, uh, you know, he's just, he's credible. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's tried it all along the way. And when he chooses a tool like this over the company branded tools that some of them have millions invested in that still aren't as effective, um, if nothing else, you can use it in parallel or in tandem with those. Mm -hmm. And many do. So. Well, again, I think it's really important to have your own thing. Yeah. Because if you use a company thing, it, it ends up being common and everybody gets it. And, right. You know, oh, right. thank you very much for the gift. I just got one like that last week. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, I'll, my phone will ping here probably within the hour uh, as I know somebody else that I had sent out a, a banner bomb, as we talked about, too. And uh, I know what went out. You know what I mean? And so it is unique because no one else has sent them something like I sent them. And uh, so, yeah. Well, the cool. thing that you sent me has my old Synergy Cafe logo on there and stuff and that little briefcase thing and the, my little uh, my little Magic Brad show coasters. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I, we had to hold on to the Synergy Cafe. It's a relic, right? You got to hold on to that. Well, it isn't. It, it's just a different um, different niche. Yeah, sure. You know, I, I got my own brand and then I'm recreating this the home improvement show to help the home improvement contractors. So it's just a different brand is all. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Good. Well, we're at uh, almost 20 minutes here. So I'm going to put you back into the green room if you want. There's some M&Ms back there and some virtual uh, <laughs> beverages and things. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate you uh, hooking this up and let's uh, definitely do some more and keep this ball rolling. It's a lot of Sounds fun. Sounds good. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Bill. So there you go, folks. That was uh, Bo Young and his friend, uh, Jim, and um, he's a real estate guy. And let me pop a little, uh, take that banner thing off there. Sorry about that. Okay, but that's it. If you want to get a hold of me, <laughs> season four giving. And then um, it's all about customer appreciation, taking care of the people that take care of you. So peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Be good, be safe, be kind, be nice. Peace. See ya. <laughs>